like everybody else, um, quite you know, just just almost getting used to it. Really, you know, uh, getting to some sort of re- uh, a routine and regime, um, trying to keep you know as active as possible. Uh, but obviously, making sure we adhere by the the rules and regulations, and and and, and again, trying to trying to stay home as much as we can, really. Uh, but so so the same as everybody else, you know, it's it's quite difficult because I'm itching to to get going um, and to you know to get back out and uh, like everybody else, it, it, it's been it's been quite tough. But um, you know, we've just got to keep doing it, haven't we? Yeah, certainly, and and of course, it's it's just really a case of. of everybody keep going at the moment we're all in the same boat and uh, keeping spirits up so how much contact have you had with uh, other people at the club uh, well initially when we first started you know we we, uh, we, we, we got the players um, some you know uh, regards of um, training you know programs um, and then obviously my dealings with uh, you know ringing around them as much as we can uh, per week, you know, with, along with the, you know the other staff early on, uh, just just making sure that everybody's okay, everybody's you know fine. They, you know they're trying to do what training they can do. If anybody needs anything, um, but then obviously the, the situation with the the, the furloughing of, the, of a lot of the uh, you know of everybody at the club, uh, which is obviously obvious reasons why that's been done, and, and that's fine and. You know, just just literally speaking to the players as well about the you know the players which, which is when been documented taking a pay cut, which is you know I thought was uh, was brilliant on on their behalf and and uh, everybody else is just be, you know concerned with the club just to to help out. You know, we we've, we've all got a muck in at this time and and um, everybody's done that. So fair play to to you know as everybody at the club. As a, as a club, you know, I think everybody showed, uh, you know, a lot of class in, in, in what they've done and how we've gone about doing it. So, uh, you know, I'm really proud of that, really, as, as uh, which I said, as, as being the manager of uh, of the club, you know, I, you know, I've been really proud of it, how everybody's conducting themselves, so it's great. And of course, it's down to individuals to... Uh to really sort of look after themselves and, and sort out their own training programmes with, with obviously some advice from the club? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's difficult to know what people's circumstances are, where they are, you know, whether they're, you know, I'm quite fortunate, I live on the golf course, so, you know, I've got I've got two golf courses by me where I can just walk, walk round one and end up on another one, so I can walk for miles. Um, and, you know, you want to go for a run, you can do that, but, I don't know what people's circumstances are where they live, so it's it's trying to do whatever they can as best they can, um, and that's really you know the, the the important thing for them. Really, it's been it's been tough, obviously as well with you know the season finished and you know players who had on loan who who actually go back and you know we've got players who are out of contract, which is is obviously difficult for them at the moment. You know with with, with what's going on. And, and just a bit of the uncertainty of, of you know when, when the takeover was going through. So uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that you know that that need to be be done. You know from now to the the start of the new season. But you know we, we'll have to get there. But you know the main thing is everybody stays safe because um, you know it's you know there's a lot of people losing their lives, which you know which is unfortunate. So. I think at this moment in time, you know, as I said before, the, you know, I think football's, uh, you know, is irrelevant at this moment in time until we get through this uh, th- this horrible situation that we're in as, a, as a, you know, in the world really, certainly as a country. Sure, I mean, obviously, uh, there was the uh, the vote uh, last week for, in the uh, national league as to uh, whether the season should be ended uh, now. The club voted to support the proposal put forward by the National League that it is ended immediately. Obviously, lots of speculation then about what will happen. Um, have you got any particular thoughts as to what you think might happen? Um, well, well, I think, again, um, I think it comes a massive second to, to the to situation, but I, I'm, I'm thinking the, only, you know, the fair way to go about it is probably maybe do a points-per-game ratio um, and see where that goes. Me, me personally, when it when it can be done, 
I, I probably wouldn't have relegation, but I'd have promotion and uh, and have more games next year. If that was the case, and even itself out, have more more teams getting relegated, arguably less teams getting promoted. So at least everybody knows and on a level foot where we are, uh, and then we can even itself out over the over the next season. But in all honesty, you know, I think it's it's tough for. A lot, a lot. You know, if you've been top of the league all season, um, it's a difficult for you. Uh, like, you know, if, if it's the, you know the season was to finish in, and we was it's four weeks, and we were in the, you know the bottom four, which is almost like we were, but we were showing the form we were showing. You know, I'd be disappointed now we were sat in the bottom four thinking we could get relegated because I thought I felt, you know, always felt all up. Certainly, us. We were, you know, we were certainly capable of getting out of the bottom four, which is what we did. But you know, there's a team like you know Fylde who were showing, you know, on a good run, and they're still in there. So I would think it would have been a bit harsh, you know, with nine games to go. I'm sure they would fancy themselves to get out of it. So it's a real tough call, um, you know. But but you know that it's it's really un, unusual circumstances. Hopefully, they can make the right decision. Just really, you know, what, what everybody echoing what you know what everybody's been saying. You know, you know, stay, you know, stay indoors when you can. Um, you know, stay up, keep your distance, uh, make sure you stay safe, uh, and hopefully, you know, we can get through this and, and we can get get back going and uh, and we can get back to um, you know moving the club forward. Um, but you know, we need we need everybody safe and well. I think that's the that's the main thing.